Choppers on deck, everything is on the man. You wanna check, first you gotta have a plan. And she's soaking wet, she dripping goddamn. My little butter pea, and she got a tan. Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Stumpy Grinds. I'm back with another video, man. And today, before I get into all the news that I got for 2K19 Park, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. Also, follow me on my Twitch. The link will be in the description. So when I, I'm gonna be, I be streaming on Twitch. So make sure y'all follow me there too. Whenever I'm not, you know, whenever I don't upload, I'm probably streaming. So make sure you go follow me on there. But yeah, so basically, I'm gonna talk y'all about all the news that I heard and seen. Some of the news is going to be from Twitter. Some of the news is going to be from Ronnie 2K's stream with Chris Smooth. Now, listen. First off, let's just start out by saying, in 2K19, there's progression bars to help you know how close you are to achieving certain things. You know, you know, like being a starter in micro. So, listen. Remember in 2K18? 2K18 was the first 2K to introduce badge progress. No other 2K showed you how close you was to a badge. You just the only way to know is by unlocking it. You, it didn't tell you how close you was. Um, that was the only way that you could know if you unlock the badges by unlocking it. So, in 2K19, badge pro progress will be uh, <coughs> will be there too. So, also, now a lot of people I didn't really care about this, but a lot of people complained to 2K about this. A lot of people didn't care, but you know some people did. I don't know, but basically you can change your clothes from the spot or standing in the park so like 16 17 remember how you could be on a spot change your mascot your clothes your shoes before the game started you could do that now i'm assuming since they're doing that the games will take longer to start because you know 17 the game took a little longer to start so you had a little bit you know extra time to change your clothes your mascot your shoes you know so now that that's back, I actually like that because I want to, you know, sometimes, you know, I want to change my outfit sometimes and I hate having to go all the way to a park or, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just extra, all right? Also, some more news. Um, They said getting badges is the same as 2K18 in terms of prog progression bars. So remember how in 2K18, let's say you're about to get deeper in Jedi Hall of Fame. They had 100k out of 160k so that means you need 60k more you know points towards that badge to unlock it so progression progression bars is back so the getting getting badges is the same way as it was in 2k18 in terms of um how close you are to it and how you unlock it also a pure playmaker gets seven hall of fame badges but uh, over i overheard them talking in ronnie 2k stream talking about that um they were saying that only a pure playmaker, a pl uh, my bad. Only a pure playmaker can put somebody on their butt, and only a pure playmaker gets Hall of Fame ankle breaker. So I think when you, also they said a pure playmaker and takeover can um, catch ankles. So I'm guessing it's going to be harder to catch ankles. Also, you have to be in takeover to catch ankles. So that's pretty crazy man i like that because this year was too easy to get ankle breakers you know what i'm saying but yeah that's pretty much it for the video man like i'm subscribe if you found this helpful and i'm out